Hello, peoples on YouTube land. This is Apollos coming to you live from my living room. That is right, I'm in my living room. Last week, I was in the garage. But one of the things that I've learned over the years that I've been on YouTube is that if I want to be a somebody on YouTube, I need to change things up from time to time. Last week, garage, trash smell. This week, living room white wall i know it's a little bit it's a lot to handle it's a lot to handle but it's okay you're going to be okay you're going to be okay so today i went to the doctor's office and anytime i go to the hospital i'm reminded of the inevitable that i am bound to be that older person walking across the street with the cane maybe the wheelchair if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky to be to make it to be in my my 70s, late 70s, 80s, that's that's what it's going to be like. And so it reminds me of I'm like, OK, I need patience because I'm seeing these people, these older people come out with the canes and the wheelchairs. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, I need to slow down, slow down, have some respect, cherish life now. Don't get too crazy. Anyways, so I go upstairs, uh, go in the elevator, which was, which was a bit of a nightmare in and of itself because the elevator moved far too slowly. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all about fast paced. You know, if, if I'm in a 30 mile per hour lane, I drive 33 miles per hour because I'm in a hurry and I need to get to my destination. So the elevator was, was barely moving, if at all, and I got out on the wrong floor, which meant that I had to wait for the elevator to come back around, right? So I'm sitting there waiting, and it must have been, felt like forever, you know, something like three minutes. It was horrible, it was horrible. Long wait, horrible long wait. And, I, and it, the worst case, part, part of the, the worst part about it was I went out, you know, the, the level that I stepped out on was the, the children's level. So, you know, there's like children over on the side, over there, and I could hear them you know, playing with the toys that were there. And I was like, oh my good knee, how long? How long am I gonna have to be on this level? So I'm starting to look around, I'm like, okay, where are the stairs at? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna start walking if I really need to. If, if the elevator's not here within the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna walk up those stairs, okay? Fortunately, the elevator finally came. So I went up, and today I went to see the neurologist. So I'm sitting there and, you know, and then the neurologist's waiting room is sort of a humdrum, sort of boring type of place, like a lot of waiting rooms. Anyways, the nurse comes out and she says, Jack, Jack, I get up as I get back, as, as I get up and I walk over to the nurse, she says, come on back. And I said, she didn't say it like that. She said it more like, come on back. And I said to her in a loud voice, I said, that rhymed, Jack, come on back. Get it? Ah, yeah. uh, you know what? Look, folks, you got to drop a smile as frequently as you can in this life, especially when you're in situations where you know, you know, things aren't always the best. We're frail human beings. We get sick. We're going to die. And um, nothing wrong with even in those, you know, situations just to, to smile over simple things. Over simple things, it's nice to smile. So anyways, I'm back there with a the neurologist and uh, I... <laughs> This was an unintentional comedic moment because I need to get some new medicine for my narcolepsy. I brought my old medicine and I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm not gonna use the rest of this medicine. And I was wondering if they had a disposal thing. And so I said to the neurologist in the room, I was like, so, you know, can I give this medicine to you? Do you guys have a disposal thing or something? And the neurologist in a very serious tone, he looks at me, he's like, um, Jack, I can't take your medicine. <laughs> And I said, oh, and I started laughing. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. That's like, I guess that would be a bit problematic if, if all the doctor's patients went back to the doctor to give him their extra medicine that they didn't use. That, that could be some problems. So anyways, after that happened, I went to the store to fill my prescription and uh, had to wait around for 20 minutes for them to fill the prescription. I get in line and the lady, uh, she's like, all right, I've got your medicine here for you. And I said, so you got my narcotics for me? And she sort of smiled. And I was like, so is, that, is it okay if I call it my narcotics or, or should I call it my drugs? Is there some politically correct term for it? And she said, 
She said to me, she said, you can call it whatever you want. So I said to her, can I call it crack? <laughs> so I said, so can I say that I'm picking up my crack? And she said, she started smiling and she was laughing a little bit. She's like, you can call it whatever you want. I was like, okay, I think I'll just call it my crack. It was, a, it was funny, funny day, funny moments. Y'all take care. Peace.